<clears throat> Welcome back to my channel. I am Andy Johansson and today I'm going to show you how I edit my winter photos. Stick around for this. Before we begin, I just want to mention that I don't have a particular style, I think. Well, it changes for every photo, I feel, somewhat. It changes from month to month. But like, usually like I've taken, you know, you're taking a lot of photos and suddenly you don't know that you have something good before you check the memory card after. So on this particular day, we were super lucky. It was so cloudy in the beginning of the day and then suddenly it just on the top it just opened up and you got this cool mystical cloudy mountain it was just a, a perfect background for the for this image so this photo i wanted it to be a little bit dreamy because you're all the way up in the mountains and then you have all the clouds you have this very cool lighting situation which I wanted to enhance. We're gonna go try to do this, to do this photo a little bit more dreamy. And uh, that will be the style for today. Hope you guys enjoy. So, the first thing I always do is that I go into uh, crop a straighten. So I always want to crop it to the, in this case, it's for Instagram. So I'm cropping it for Instagram. So we are going here. I want the subject to be as much in the middle as possible. That seems all right to me. Yeah. And then the second thing I'm doing is that I'm going down to tone curve. I know there's the, uh, you know, the, there's a golden rule or whatever to, to use this S curve. And yes, I'm using it quite often. However, um, in this case, I, I'm not going to use it in this way. I'm going to take down, take this, take this one down here, drag it to the right, could get this darkness in the image, and then I'm just going to pop another one in the middle, put it up there, and just increase the highlights a little bit here. So this is what I'm usually doing in the beginning. Then I'm going back up. I'm not gonna mess around with the exposure right now at least, not the contrast either, because I already have it. I, I kinda need to see where this is going first. But, like this is a very bright image and I want to decrease the highlights just to get some extra details out of, these, out of this background. And I want to increase the shadows a little bit. Uh, And then I wanted to pop, like uh, when people are when people are scrolling quite fast on Instagram and stuff, and I really wanted to pop a little bit, so they actually stop and look at the photo. So I'm gonna increase the white. Let's see, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And then I want to decrease the blacks. I want I want darker blacks. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going down to here and I want to decrease texture. This is something I usually always do. Like I really don't like this check texture uh, filtering going on here on the photo. So I'm decreasing it just to get, you know, get it a little bit more smooth. smooth. Clarity, however, that depends on the photo. Like sometimes I can take it way down just to get this kind of dreamy kind of thing here, but this is not the type of dreamy effect we want to accomplish now. So actually I'm gonna increase the the uh, clarity a little bit. Like, yeah, quite a bit actually, 30, that's fine. And then I wanna decrease the, uh, the haze. So not much, but to there. You see like you get a little bit of fill a little bit of those dark areas and then vibrance I usually take quite a bit off 
I'm not sure how much. Let's. This is actually good. Yeah, I think that's good. 52. And that's the situation I'm taking down. This is something I. You know, you need to balance. Uh, it depends really much on the photo you have. Uh, but usually I'm bringing the vibrance up and the saturation down. That's something I usually do in my photos. And after that, we're going down here, but like, I don't want to mess around. I like the colors here already, and there's not really that much color to work with. Split toning, you can get that effect by doing this here, but I don't, I don't want to do it here. I, I really want to keep those colors that I already have here. Don't mess it up too much. And then we come down here, don't need to sharpen it anymore. I feel like it's sharpened enough. Just tick off these, that's something I uh, usually do as well. And then we are coming down to calibration. This is something, this is the last thing I usually do in my photos after I want it the way I want. Like I've, I've adjusted the, the colors to make it look as natural as possible. And uh, then, you know, I'm coming down here. Basically, this is where you can really f*** it up. You can, you can start with that up here already, but since we haven't done it here on this photo, like I'm, I'm jumping all the way down here right away. So usually I'm dragging this up here. How much pens? I can actually put it up to there and then I'm taking the red a little bit down. Okay, I'm taking that all the way down there and then I'm taking the blues down a little bit, like so. And there I actually have the type of color. Maybe I'll take off the red a little bit. Yeah, okay, there. Okay, there we go. I think that's good. That's looking great. But it, it lacks something. And that is that I want, the, I want it to pop a little bit more. Because I'm not, I'm feeling it like it's not enough. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna put this down like so, and I'm just gonna drag this here. Because this is a very bright photo. Usually I'm using like darker uh, fade, getting out darker fade down there. But like since it's a very bright photo, this wouldn't fit here, at least in my opinion. And so I go, I want to do some more. I want the, I want the clouds to pop a little bit as well. And then I can go to, yeah, I'm actually gonna increase it quite a bit. So like that, of course we're gonna do inverted. And let's say something like that and make sure to feather it all the way out or else it's gonna be too much. Take it out a little bit. And so like that actually too much. Put that there. Like that. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and put it also down here. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That's looking great. I'm also gonna do it one more time. And I'm gonna put it up here. You almost like by doing so, like we have a very clean sky here, so this will just make it, you know, like make it a little bit more dramatic when it when I'm taking it away, it's like quite boring. When I'm putting it here, it's like you know, something the vine is uh is uh lighting on the on my friend here. And I think that's alright. Maybe I should do a little bit harsher like that. like that. There we go. That seems all right to me. It pops quite a bit. And yeah, I'm quite happy with this. Like from here you can see like this is what we started with and this is what we finished with. This is how I would edit this photo. Doesn't mean like this is how I would edit another winter photo, but like but you see a little bit on how uh, how my workflow is. So, what, like I start with the crop and then I go to the tone curve. That's usually the first thing I always do. But then again, it really depends. Like start with those things, make it look natural and that sort. But you know, you have your own way to do stuff. This is, you know, just take inspiration from this. 
Uh, there's nothing that's right or wrong when it comes to photography. You have to do what you like and just improve on that. This is just gonna be some pointers, what, like what would I do and how do I do things. If you do like this sort of video content, then do let me know. I will make more in the future for sure. You can also tell me in the comments down below if there is uh, a certain type of style you would wish me to talk about, then I, I can show you that too. And uh, yeah, other than that, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. That's it for today, guys. Leave a like, share and subscribe. And if you have any sort of questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please consider subscribing because that really helps me out. And uh, you know, for me as a beginner, beginner YouTuber, you know, all the activity on my profile really, really, really helps. I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.